All right, so as we begin to wrap up a little bit here and we get into these last couple of videos, I wanna tell you that I'm gonna go into a little more detail just very quickly about property management. So get a pad and pen and be ready to take notes because these things are important, especially as you go forward, talking to our portfolio advisement team, make sure you have this data in front of you, okay? And I wanna tell you that property management, vital. It is so vital. It is the single biggest element to your success as a long-term investor, especially if you're gonna be passive and in investing far from home. I also wanna tell you that if there's detail that you haven't heard just yet, don't fret. There's a lot of material here on this page. Down below, there's plenty of articles, lots of white papers, things that we've identified are important for you as, a, as an investor, things that we really wanna make sure you take the time to read. So you do that at your own time. Right now, as far as property management, I want you to understand something. We will average between three to 5% vacancy at any time. That means 95 to 97% occupied on a portfolio that exceeds over 4,000 properties, three cities. At any given time, we can have as few as 120 properties available. Now that is well, uh, well outperforms the certainly the industry average. It's better than any of the city averages in Memphis, Dallas, or Houston, and it's certainly better than any other property management company or passive investment company that's out there. There's no one that can perform at the level that we can because no one has taken the time to put the effort into training, hiring, building infrastructure, building technology, and utilizing all of that to improve the performance of the company, to improve your performance of your portfolio. So I wanna tell you that, that we are running an extremely low vacancy rate. Our maintenance factor, because we spend so much time on the front end, hovers between three and a half and four and a half percent every year for the past four years. Now that includes capital expenditures, that includes CapEx, because our portfolio today is over 10 years old. So uh, the management of that portfolio and the performance of it is factored in. So we put CapEx in that number as well. Guys, it is, it's difficult for companies to perform at this level. We have never said that, that we're average. We don't want to be average. We want to be better than average. We want to set the standard for everyone else. We're not the only ones that say that. There's a lot of companies in this industry that look to us and look to our performance and say, that's the gold standard. That's the company that all of us want to attain and be like. Well, we, we put the roadmap out. It requires diligence. It requires commitment. It requires a, a unending pursuit of education and perfection, not only of us as owners, but of our team that we put together. And that is what makes our management company so different than any other management company out there. That the pride that we take in the performance and the wow experience of our residents, it's important. And for you as an investor, you wanna make sure that you know and that you really hone in on good is that management company? Because in the end, a management company will be all the difference. A great investment property can be ruined by a bad management company. Keep that in mind when you decide to go and make your final decision on who it is you're going to do business with.